Well, it has been a while. All right, so I'm just kind of shooting this thing like just out of the blue because I don't even know what's going on anymore. But y'all remember my work trip, right? The work trip that I took to Illinois lasted the past eight months. I'm finally back home, but not quite. I actually didn't move back to Phoenix, South Mountain. I'm not near there. I have had a little bit of a change of scenery. I've moved to Tucson, Arizona, so a little bit further down. And I just moved in about a week ago, all right? So I'm still trying to get this place. I got a new apartment. I'm trying to get everything all set up. But today is Sunday. I'm bored. There's not really a whole lot I can do besides clean and, you know, clean and more stuff like that. I don't really want to do that right now. So I want to, I want to get out. I want to do something. I don't want to just be inside all day because I feel like I've been doing that for a lot lately. Or since I got back, just been inside. I want to go out. I want to get some writing in. But I have no idea how. <laughs> So this is my uh, Diamondback sinker, which as you can tell, I've got kind of crammed into a little storage compartment on a hook back here. Now, I haven't ridden this thing since December, since the December ride series. So as you can see, the tires are still flat. Uh, I've still got this, this damage to my, uh, oh, I think you really see it from here. Kind of, it's not focusing, there we go. I still have damage to both of my grips. Uh, I do have new bar ends on these. So, cause I don't know what happened to my bar ends. I noticed in my last video, someone pointed it out. I didn't have bar ends in and I don't know how that happened because I literally, I literally put in bar ends on this bike and I don't know what happened to them. I don't know if they fell out or I, I don't know if that's even a thing, but you know, somehow I lost my bar ends. So I have bar ends now, except my hand, my grips are still totally screwed. Um, I don't know what other damage there was to this thing when I fell on it in December. I don't know if the tires hold air. I don't know if, I, I'm pretty sure, I think there was something in my suspension fork that was like making a noise, but I don't remember. Um, I know the seal on the tires is gone. Yeah, this is gonna be weird. I've gotten uh, all of my GoPro equipment back inside and my camera gear, my GX85, which I shot my first video, or actually second video on the sub video. Um, I have, I have all my camera gear, I have my GoPro Hero 8, I don't know what the second battery is, or, cause I know, I know this wasn't the only battery it came with, I know there was a second one, I don't know where it is. My GoPro Hero 7 has been chilling in my car this entire time, cause I forgot to take it out, so that's pretty epic. Um, I have, I think I have everything I need here for a ride, um, but I'm still missing, I'm still missing some key components. For one, I don't have my backpack. I don't have, um, I don't have my backpack. I don't have my uh, hydration, hydration bag. I don't have any of that stuff. Um, so I had to figure out how I'm gonna carry water because I don't even think I have a water bottle. So this is just getting more and more interesting because I'm pretty sure this ride is going to be without a backpack. I'm just gonna be riding with what's on my bike because I don't got nothing. There is a, I don't, I don't know if it's a bike park or if it's, um, or if it's just like a regular park. I don't know. It's called Fantasy Island. It's not too far from where I live, and there's a, there's a, there's a trail on the mountain that's called Lone Star Loop, and I'm thinking it's about six miles. I can go up there. I can ride the loop. Right now, because it's still kind of early, it's about 10:30. If I can get over there, maybe at 11. We can get a ride in and it won't be super, super high because it's already May. We're already hitting like 98 something degrees. Um, so I'm gonna go see if I can make this happen. Okay, so I managed to find most of my clothing at least. So I have that. I made sure to bring my helmet and gloves which are still torn up from December. So I may get some more of those. I gotta go down to the store and get some parts because I am missing some really critical items. I don't have a water bottle. I don't have a tire pump, so I can't pump, my, pump up my tires, and I don't have a multi-tool. That's a problem. So we're going to make a little pit stop by Walmart, get some stuff, and then we'll head to the trail. Also, I cannot find, for the life of me, more batteries for my GoPro Hero 8. I only have the one, and the battery's at 17%. I would have to go and spend a while charging it, and then I have to buy another one because the batteries don't last any longer than like maybe 45 minutes to an hour in this heat. And I don't want to do that, so you know what? I have a whole bunch of batteries for my GoPro uh, Hero 7 Black because this is the one that I was using most. I only got the Hero 8 back in December, which I used for like a day. 
But I have all the parts I need for this one. The batteries are charging already and I have a lot of them. Uh, this camera's already set up, it's ready to go. So you know what, I think we're just gonna rock out old school, save us a little bit of time and energy. Also, I'm making sure I have the housing in hand this time, not like December where I forgot it back home. I actually have it this time. Uh, so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna rock out old school for this one. I think I'm in the right place, I hope. Pretty sure that's the bike trail that leads up there. So we're just gonna, just gonna park here. We're just gonna go with that. So I got everything I need, obviously. The pump. Uh, I got this uh, bike repair kit, which has a multi-tool in it. So I'm just gonna take that out and leave all the rest of the stuff. Cause I already have some of it on my bike. Water bottle, I got a big boy. Um, I know you're supposed to wash these before you start drinking out of them, but I don't really have that luxury unless I want to go back home, with, and I don't. So we're just gonna we're just gonna take it for what it is, and that's related. Uh, so yeah, let me get up. Got everything here I need. All my this stuff. So yeah, it's time to get up, and it's time to hit the trails, which you can't see right now. So I'm at the trailhead, and this has already turned out to be awesome. I forgot that I took my bottle cage off and put it on my recoil. So I don't have a bottle cage for this. And not only that, but my inner tube that I have on here is really cracked. I don't even think that would hold air anymore. Cause it's been on here since like 2019. So yeah, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. This isn't really, it's a little too big to fit in my hack. Um, but we'll see what I can figure out. So, here's the thing. I couldn't even fit my water bottle into my pack. I had to just stuff two Arrowhead bottles into that tiny little pack and call it a day. So, I don't have, I don't have nothing. All right, I don't have, whoops, hold on a minute. This is an actual bike park. I need to find the right trail. Trail No, I think I know the way. Okay. We're already at the trailhead. Pretty epic. That uh, flat part is for boat bikes. So we're doing this hella half cocked. All right. I have two arrowhead balls, no spare inner tube, um, no glasses because. I have these special, um, these special like 3M safety glasses that I had made up with my prescription lenses. I forgot them. I was, I meant to pick up like just some regular safety goggles at least when I went to get my other gear, but what do you know? I forgot that too. So, No glasses, not nearly enough water, uh, no inner tube. So, if something goes wrong, I'm gonna get really, really. At some point, I may turn around, to be honest. Or, like, cut across and shorten the ride. It kind of depends. Let's go. There is a squeak coming from my drive train. But I know that's just due to maintenance that's required. I didn't do maintenance. In December, I didn't do maintenance today. I'm just riding it. Which I guess is a good thing about these hardtails is that you can just ride them into the ground, but obviously it's not a great thing to do. And this is definitely gonna be the last ride I take on it before I really rip this thing apart and give it a good, a good scrub. I want to 
change the tires to something that's a little bit lighter. The DHF and DHR2 combination is pretty cool. Like it grips great, but it makes it really hard to do a lot of climbing. And because this is a plus size bike, obviously that problem is just exacerbated. So I don't really want to, I don't really want to mess with that too much. You know, I like having easy climbing, so I'm probably gonna do like a, I think they make the aggressor in a 2.8 with I might try that. They probably have some other newfangled tires they put out in the last year or two anyways that I don't know. So that'll also be something to check out. Honestly though, this bike, I got it over two years ago like January of 2019. And this thing has really done me well. Like I've never had a mechanical failure or anything like that. It's a solid bike. I know there's, I know they have a new models out and everything, but can definitely vouch for this one at least. It's a very, very good bicycle, especially for the price. It was 1100 when I bought it, and then, like, I want oh god, that is a spiky thing. Um, yeah, I was like, I paid another 100 for the dropper post, so 1200, and then I think the tires were like 80 a piece, so 160. That's like 1360. So, yeah, about like, about around 1400 bucks I paid to get this thing set up the way it is today and it hasn't failed me at all. So, definitely uh, definitely worth it if you're looking for a hole. I just ran over a real big spiky thing. And I have a ton of spikes in my tire now. I don't know if this is on frame or not. It's like we're in a freaking garden of these things. Holy crap. Thank God for thick walled tires. I don't hear any leaks, so I think we're gonna just gotta ride carefully. You don't wanna be falling in this. I don't got nothing like this up at South Mountain. What are these things? Are these things? I mean. You see the little balls from them all over the place, but you don't ever actually see the actual plants. This is beyond cool. Kind of scary to ride through, but very, very cool nonetheless. It's, it's almost freaky looking, to be honest. Just gonna ride a little slowly, you know. I don't wanna fall on a cactus. Oh, there's another one on the road. I don't wanna fall on a cactus, and I don't want to run out of water either. Even though I'm doing pretty good with that. I, I drank like two full bottles before I even hopped on the bike. So I should be okay. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Just pacing myself. I know how it works. Don't try it at home though. Go look at the video I made a year ago. Now I'm biking in hot weather. That's how you do this for real. I don't want no noobs getting any ideas over here. I'm gonna assume this is the way. Yeah, to Bunny One Way, to Bunny Trail. Wait, what the frick? Trail Fox needs to save me again. Oh crap, we went all the way down the wrong way. We went down bunny reroute. Oh my God, we're so far away. I screwed it up so badly. Trail, oh, so they got this closed because they're doing like some construction. That's what that is over there. 
I don't want to sit here too long because there's insects. So we have to turn around, which is fine. Okay, I think that was probably the jankiest ride I've ever, ever tried to go on. I'm missing gear, my bike's in shambles. I don't know where I'm going on the trails. Yeah, that was weird. Um, but I still got a ride in. I still got a ride on the trail. We saw that really cool, like, cacti garden. I'm sure there's a better term for that that I just don't know. But we got to see that. It was super cool. Just got out on the bike for a ride, you know, and it was super. It was super quick. It was only. It was only like I think we we're only out for about an hour, which is good. I could tell I was starting to like kind of heat up a little bit because I'm used to the. My body's kind of used to the Illinois temperature still, so the heat, readjusting. Um, but yeah, so it was a perfect amount of time I was out there. A detour was probably a good idea. Probably saved me from some from some trouble. Um, bikes bikes decent. I it needs maintenance. I gotta do maintenance on the drivetrain. You know, get new grips, all that stuff. But yeah, I'm hot. I'm gonna turn the AC on in here. I'm gonna go probably get my usual after ride quick trip and uh, figure out what else I wanna do with my day because it's still pretty early. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the uh, return to, to the uh, mountain biking. I'm excited to get this video uh, made and put out. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.